Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be talking about should a man choose a three button or a two button jacket? All right, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this, if you find it useful, just click on that like button right down there. And while you're down there, make sure to grab my free 47 page ebook on men's style. And if you want more, I've got a premium ebook. It's over 600 pages, over 400 images, 14 hours of audio. It's really good. It's not free, but I get emails every day, people telling me that they think it's the best ebook out there. It's more like a course with the 14 hour audio. And the best part is I'm continuously updating it and you are entitled to every update I put out there as long as I'm in business. <laughs> okay, so this is the question that came in. Antonio, are three button suits still in style? It's really hard to find a three button suit out there in the store. I like the three button suit better than the two button. I don't even own a two button. So now I'm in the market for some new suits. But where can I find three button suits and would there even be a reason to consider two button suits? Thank you. All right. So he's he's really leaning towards the three button, but I'm a I, I own both styles and I think both of them can suit a wide range of men. They are the most common styles on the planet. I just from my experience, I would say probably 90 close to 98, 99% of the suits I make are either two or three button suits. And there's a hidden two and a half button, which I'll talk about at the end. But uh, let me just, let me start with uh, the three button. It has a older history. So originally, uh, and I've talked about this in other videos, but the suit jacket originates from a military origin, from the, from the military jacket. And these lapels right here, folded up and it buttoned all the way to the top. The man actually had in the Marine Corps, we had leather around this area so that someone wouldn't cut your head off with a sword or it would have to really, you know, hit you pretty hard with a, with something. But that was how the jacket, so they started they started folding over the lapels. It was uh, the style as men were coming back from combat or it, it was, those that were a bit more flamboyant, they started turning them over and reusing the jackets. I mean, you had all these jackets left over from a battle or I'm sorry, from a particular war and they had to make good use. Some people were gonna waste this stuff. So they started turning them and then the styles about 150 years ago started creeping down into normal men's wear. So the three button, and this is a what a three button, it has a you can see that the V right here is a shorter point. And I am actually wearing a two and a half, but I'll just go ahead and button this as a three. It's not really made to be worn like that, but you can see where all of a sudden it brings this point like this. And what this does is this style works best on a man who is lean, a man who has an athletic build, a man who is younger, and it gives a more buttoned up look, especially with a three button, you're only going to button, you, you'll button the top two, Occasionally, you, you can unbutton that top one, but you always button the center, never the bottom. So with the three, you can have a more buttoned up look, which is inherently more formal. So that's where it, it works out well. And if you're a taller man, a three button is gonna give you a more balanced look, as long as long along with making the jacket a little bit longer and a few other style details that I would add if I was making a jacket for a man. Now let's talk about the two button. The two button is what this looks like. And the two button is where the roll goes down lower. So we see the V right here goes deeper into the chest. This is a more forgiving cut and is why it's harder to, I mean, this is basically the most popular jacket on the planet. Probably 90 to, well, I don't know. I don't have the exact numbers in front of me. Let's say 85% of the jackets I make are two button because it is the one that will suit the most body types is the one most men are familiar with and I think is a very natural place for a jacket to be made up. Uh, if you've got a little bit of a stomach, if the two button is gonna be perfect, it's more forgiving, it gives a little bit of, a, of this V, the deeper V right here makes a, it, it accentuates most body types. So that's why you're gonna to wanna to lean toward it. Um, if you're a shorter man, in addition, a true two button or even one button jacket is where you would want to go because it's going to look better proportional wise. It's going to give from a distance, it's going to make you look more normal. It's going to give you a very nice size proportioned open area in the chest. 
Um, for sports jackets, I also like the two button because the two button could also be made roomier. Because the three button buttons up higher, usually it's a little bit tighter in the chest area. You don't have just all this open space. And so with a sports jacket, it was built for sport, especially if it's going to be a jacket that you're going to be shooting in or doing anything like that. I like just tradition wise to be able for a sports jacket to have more room to open up. Now, also for peak lapels, if you like on a single breasted jacket to be able to have peak lapels, I like the two button because it gives the lapel a bit more, it accentuates it more versus if it's buttoned up all this way, the lapel is very short. And peak lapels look great. They're normally on double breasted jackets, but on the, a single breasted jacket, if it's a, if it's a two button, I think that it looks, it looks really elegant. It is a classic look. It's been around since the 1920s. Uh, now the two and a half button. I alluded to it. The two and a half button is where I make a jacket that has three buttons, but it is meant to be buttoned only at the center button, so the lapel roll goes down lower. I like this look. It, it's a little bit more, if I think, of, of a hidden look. It, it rem, it's not something you see on very many often. You can go to higher end menswear stores like Brooks Brothers or um, let me think, uh, there, there's a few, I think uh, Ben Silver ha has a few of jackets like this, but it's something that you have to know what you're looking for. It has to be made right because of the button in the, if the roll isn't right, then the actual, uh, the, the button itself can interfere with the, the, the roll of the lapel. But I just, I really like the look. I think it's the best of both worlds and is something that if you're going to have a jacket made for you, go ahead and ask for it. All right. So hopefully that helps you understand. And then for this gentleman, where is he going to be able to find a three button suit? He's going to have to go to a higher end menswear store. He's going to either have to also go to a thriftwear store or he's going to have to have one custom made. Three button suits go in and out of style every, uh, every few years. So right now they're out and he's going to have a very hard time finding one on most off the rack manufacturers. So uh, best of luck and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, really quick, go check out my new website, menstyleqna.com. If you've got a question, go ask it there versus the YouTube comments. I honestly, guys, I just can't track everything that's going down there in YouTube. This Men's Style Q&A website is much easier for me to track and the best questions and answers are going to be rising to the top and I'll be looking for those and making videos from them. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.